Hello? It is I, Dexter. Can you hear me in there? Thank you for volunteering for this important time travel experiment. I'm going to need you to input your profile into the system before we begin. Stand by and I'll bring it up on your monitor. Hey guys, I'm Marie Ray and welcome to Fusion Fall Retro. Now, if you don't know what Fusion Fall is, this was a game that was created by Cartoon Network a while ago, back, back in 2009. When this game first came out, I was about 14 years old, maybe? But if you don't know me, I am a huge child. I am an adult child. I stick by that to the fullest of its extent. I love cartoons. I still love cartoons. And back then, when I was about 14 years old, I loved this game. I played the heck out of this game. I'm not even kidding. This was the very first game that I ever played where I was like paying for a subscription because my mom didn't really trust any of that type of stuff, but I had to play this game. So I remember going to the store and buying little cards and putting it in so that I could play this game. And it, I played this game to its completion. I absolutely love this game when I was a kid. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be the same playing it now. I'm pretty sure it's gonna feel a little slow, probably kind of clunky, but it was made in 2009. But I couldn't, I mean, it, it embodied everything that I loved about games and what I wanted to see. It was an anime style MMORPG featuring my favorite cartoons of like, all time. I'm talking like Dexter's Laboratory, Johnny Bravo, Ed and Nettie, Powerpuff Girls, Curse the Cowardly Dog, Samurai Jack, Billy and Mandy, Kiss Next Door, Megas XLR, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, Ben 10. It was crazy. And then in its later years, they even added some of the newer Cartoon Network shows that were also amazing, like Adventure Time, The Regular Show, and The Amazing World of Gumball. I was like, this game was everything. I am a huge cartoon fan. Everything I just listed, there's even more than that. And I just, I loved everything about this game because it, it, being a huge nerd that I am, it was always like a sort of like a dream that I wanted to be in a universe with my favorite cartoon characters. And with this game, it kind of felt like you could do that. It was pretty awesome. So when I found out that they have revived this game, I had to play it. I mean, there's nothing that's gonna stop me from playing through this game in its entirety again just because I can. I'm so happy to see that this game is back, but we are gonna play it here together. Right now it is in beta, so you cannot play through the entire game, but I do believe they plan on reviving its original game and actually recreating it and making it different and sort of adding new things to it. But we are going to create a character here and we're gonna play through the first few levels because I wanna do it. I, I mean, I can't, I don't even understand why you would question that. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna actually create a name, though we're gonna actually create Mari Ray, there we go. We're gonna be Mari Ray this time. Uh, okay. Well, we're gonna be player 54533. Uh, let's create our character though. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so much nostalgia in this right now. I'm not even kidding. I'm I'm pretty tall. I'm gonna go with tall. She can stay medium build, whatevs. Uh, let's change her skin. You know what, we have to, we have to be wild here. Purple is my favorite color, so let's have purple hair because why not? We can. It's a video game and we can do that. Nobody tells us what we can and cannot do. Let's see what hair we got here. Hmm. You know what? We're gonna get the pigtails. I like the pigtails. We're going with the pigtails. Let's, what kind of eyes? That, that's fine. Why don't we just do that? Let's see what we can do here. Uh, brown eyes, yellow eyes, green. What is that? That's like, an off yellow color. Let's do that. That's fine. We're gonna go with this. You know what? This is how we're gonna do this. Now let's pick our clothes. Um, you know what? This jacket is cute. It's adorable. And it has a kitty on the back. So we're going with this jacket. Let's do it in blue. Uh, no. There, this matches. There we go. You know what? Perfect. I'm not gonna waste that much time decorating the character because you're gonna change your clothes anyway. I mean, like any MMORPG, you're gonna get new armor. So this is our character, our temporary character, uh, random whatever character number 57337. I don't even freaking know. We're gonna jump right on in and see how far we can get in this game. Excellent. Bioscan is complete. Let's make sure your communicator is functioning. All communication systems are functional, Dexter. I will be able to reconnect with the volunteer upon arrival in the future. Affirmative. <laughs> All right, I'm powering up the main engine now. You may feel a little fun. Wow, 
Oh, are you seeing these readings? <laughs> A fine day for science indeed. <laughs> Prepare for lunch. Ooh, Three, what does this two, do? What? Baby! No! Error, you have been sent much farther into the future than Dexter intended. Watch out! <laughs> Holy Kanami, where did you come from? Not now, number five. We gotta move. Follow us. Initiate training. Oh my god, you guys. My nostalgia boner is on like a hundred right now. I'm not even kidding. This is crazy. I cannot believe that I could actually play this game again right now. It's insanity. It is so insane. To move backwards, press very good. All of my favorite characters and their voices. You saw, I mean, with that introduction, half the people that I grew up like loving. Cree Summers. It's freaking number five. Ben 10. Oh my god, you guys. Alright. Well, I don't expect this to be very difficult. Nope, of course it's not difficult, but this is just, it's incredible. You see why when I was a kid, what am I doing? Oh, it's not working. Okay, there it goes. But when I was a kid, you can see why this game was just like intensely amazing. Woohoo! Nice work, guys! Those creeps turn back into fusion matter when you beat them. Make sure you collect as much as you can. It's real important stuff. You will automatically collect fusion matter from defeated enemies. Their lips don't even move in this game, and I'm still like, this is amazing! As you defeat more enemies, your fusion matter meter will continue to fill up. You don't have to explain this to me. Warning, more hostiles incoming. We've got more company. It's a Cyberus. Let's take him down. I mean, fighting in this game is not intuitive. I don't expect it to be amazing to actually play. I don't even think you can dodge in this game, if I'm not mistaken. You can just run away. It's impossible to, to like, dodge their attacks, though. Nice shoot, by the way. You know, I just realized who you are. You're the kid from the past Dexter told us about. Well, you're in a world of trouble now. Look up in the sky. That's Planet Fusion, ruled by some nasty guy named Fuse. Fuse has covered the world with gross green goo, and those disgusting fusion spawns are wrecking everything! Fuse's monsters have evolved and adapted to our planet. You should see some of them. They use things called terrafusers to infect everything with goo. If the infection gets bad enough, planet fusion will absorb our world. Now that you're up to speed, can you go help number two? We gotta go help the others. It's kind of bizarre. I feel like they're like talking to me in my brain or something because nobody's lips moves and that was the weirdest cutscene. It was just like a rotating picture. It was kind of bizarre. But I mean 2009, old game you guys, I give it the benefit of the doubt. Not to mention I am in so much bliss replaying my childhood right now. I don't even think I care. It's amazing. Hey number two. With a mission for you, we'll have okay. This attack was no accident. An oil ogre is using a transmitter to broadcast our position. We need to find that monster and get that transmitter. You ready? Sure okay. thing, buddy. I kind of wish I could shut her up. I don't, I'm pretty sure I can figure out how to do this. I don't think I ever really pay attention to any tutorial and like any MMO that I've ever played in my entire life. I normally just figure it out. Wing it, you'll figure it out eventually. Yeah, I don't think you can dodge in this game. You just sort of gotta take the punches as they come. Like, running side to side doesn't help. Jumping doesn't help. Nice work. Bring that yeah, I don't think it does anything. Since you have completed your first task, your mission Will you shut up? Updated. Do I have to do this? Hit the enter key. Enter key to your mission journal contains information on all your missions. Okay, great. Can I leave now? Shut up, lady! Listen, computer wife. You need to be quiet. Shut up! I don't care! Alright, there we go. 
I kind of wish I could shut her up. I'm pretty sure I remember how to play this game, even after all these years. I think this game went down, the servers went down in like 2013. Oh my god, lady, please. Buttercup. Oh my god, my heart should be... By successfully completing the mission from number two. Select What's up, Buttercup? Disappeared. You've got to see if he's in the infected zone. I'll check out here. There's no time to lose. Click the close. The most infected areas on the planet are called infected zones. Thanks to Fuse's TerraFuser machines, fusion matter is totally out of control inside. Ha! Huh. Good thing Dexter set up energy shields to contain the infection. Your new task. Zone. I think I get it, lady. Please shut up. Will you be here this entire time? Yes, sir. Oh my god, you guys. I'm not kidding you. I kind of want to punch her in the face. Directly in the face. Okay. Don't yell at me, Dexter. This is you! I knew we would meet again. My stupid sister messed up the time jump sequence and destroyed the time capsule. We need to get you back to the past so you can save our world. Fusion Buttercup is in the next room. We must stop her before she can cause any more damage. Fusions are dark, twisted versions of this planet's heroes, created by Fuse himself. They are extremely dangerous, but I think you can handle it. Are you ready? Let's go! Okay. Alright. Here I come. Alright, let's see how this works. Well, I'm pretty sure dodging is, like, impossible, so I can just shoot her till she dies, I guess. Dexter, are you even helping? What? Is there nothing there? I don't think he's holding anything, and I think he's supposed to be, so... I think problems are expected when they're in beta right now, but what you gonna do? Yes, they do, Buttercup. Yes, they do. You have made your first nano. It's like so cute! Fusion, nanos are made of fusion matter. You have used the fusion matter you collected in your fusion matter meter to create Nano Buttercup. Don't be discouraged by her size. She may be small, but she is powerful. She is small and adorable. It has the ability to store up to three Can I- should I shut- okay, thank you. I didn't want to hear Whoa. her talk. That does not sound good. You can escape the Dex Labs using the warp gate I have set up. I must search this area and make sure Fusion Buttercup did not steal anything from my headquarters. And if she did? What's gonna happen? Go to this whole place gonna die. To use the warp gate. Let's go. We can't hold Tech Square anymore! Get to the scamper! Hurry! Nanos have powers that they can use to help the I'm dying, lady! Shut up! Can I just summon the thing? Click the right mouse button. Now that your enemy is stunned, you can get to the scamper soon. Cool thing. I'm sorry, Buttercup. You can come back. You did great, but it looks like Buttercup and the rest weren't able to handle those other Terrafusers in time. Dexter says we gotta find Mandark so we can rebuild the time machine and send you back to the past. Let's get out of here! Despite our best efforts, Tech Square has been lost. But this war is not over yet. Not by a long shot! Our time-traveling friend here is just the hero we need. Between Men Dark and Number Two, I am sure you will be able to rebuild my time capsule. Don't worry about me. I will be fine. Get back to Sector V and to safety. Dexter, out! Alright everyone, next stop, Hero Square Sector V! I'm fangirling so hard right now. I was standing next to Samurai Jack in a video game. He is probably one of my favorites. I require you to shut up. It looks super empty. I'm pretty sure that most people have played through what's available because from what I've read, the only thing available is this future part. So the way this game works is that you go through this portion here, then you end up going back into the past where there's far more for you to explore and things get more interesting and you meet more characters. Yes, I want a mission. Um, all right, let's just grab this next one too.
Cool beans. I understand that. Or you can shut up and let me do me, lady. How do I stop her? Is there any way possible to turn her off? I don't know. But this is going to be a ball of fun for me internally because I loved everything about this game as a kid. I don't know how many times I can say that and I'm going to keep saying it. Um, I believe that nanos have a thing where if you pull out the right one when you're fighting a creature, it hurts them more. So like this is like a bee nano and a bee creature and I, they obviously are like evenly matched. So I don't think it helps at all. But I think if you, what am I doing? I'm killing stuff before I even activated the mission. All right, there we go. Now it's active. But I think that uh, it's like uh, A beats B, B beats C, and C beats A, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, it's not very hard to learn. I mean, it's a game for kids, so it's not like it's very difficult. But the nanos are probably the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life, and I wish I could actually own them in real life. I would actually own them, all of them, and keep them in my house. I have so many plushes. It's ridiculous. I am an adult child. I'm sorry. I am not apologetic, actually. You know what? Forget it. I'm not sorry. I'm an adult child, and I love cartoons, and I really wish that some of these cartoons were still on the air, or at least had reruns that they'd play, because I would watch them a hundred times over. I really want you to shut up, lady. Please. Oh, God. Please. Oh, Jesus Christ, lady! Please, just shut your face hole for like five minutes. I don't want to hear you talking. You can also hit the peaky. The peaky? I can hit the peaky? Oh, I can hit the peaky. Shut up! Jesus, you never stop talking! I thought I got rid of you before I came in here and you just keep talking. You know this already, lady. Jesus. I know this. Seriously, I learned all of this when you told me seven times in the training thing. That guy just tried to blow me up. I'm offended. I'm gonna explode you. You're not gonna be able to avoid my damage. I'm gonna kill you. Alright, so let's fight this dude. Let's just take out Buttercup. Stun him. Because Buttercup is awesome. Oh, crap. Don't want to do that. And we did it! It would be really funny if I still exploded right there. Hey, he's so cute and chubby. He's like a little round butterball. I love him so much. Fast feet. Uh, you can get a speed boost. This is a uh, recall to the group. Nah, I don't care. I'm not going to play with people right now. I don't think I ever played with people in this game. Yeah, that tells you how I play MMRs. The wrong way, which is not with people. Let's do fast feet. Shut up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've played MMOs wrong like my entire life. I never end up playing with people, which is probably why I never actually finish MMOs. This one I did because it's not that hard and it like you get through, you get through it pretty quickly. It's it's doesn't take you very long to get to the end of this game, and you can play it completely by yourself. There's no missions that are like. Impossible for you to do without a second person or something like that. So I played through this one to its entirety and beat the whole game. But a lot of MMOs that I play, I generally, I generally never go talk to people in the game. So I'm playing by myself and I end up getting bored and I never finish it. Where am I going? Seriously, I don't know where I'm going. Did, did I get a mission? No, I didn't. Oh, there we go. You need a mission. Sure. All right, we made it, and we're once again fighting these dudes again. I'm not kidding. I'm not even kidding you. Are these the only creatures around that are causing anybody any problems, like, ever? Because I think this is about the fourth mission that we've had that we just have to fight these things exclusively. There are apparently no other creatures around that cause any problems, just these dudes. And I'm ready for another nano already. I do believe I can only get... Four or five? I forgot how many nanos you get in the early stages of the game. I've learned that Fuse is trying to get his hands on a map of Pokey Oaks Junior High. He's planning something mean. We've got to stop him. Want to help? I'll think about it. 
I'll think about it, Buttercup. Defeat the fusion spawns. Is this Buttercup's mission? Well, what am I doing? No, apparently I missed out on one of these other missions. That's cool. Whatever. We're gonna go do this mission. Here we go. And let's return this map to her. Pokey Oak's protection. That map you recovered has some creepy handwriting on it. But by the looks of it, Fuse is preparing a massive coordinated attack. We need to stop him. But why though? Because I'm going back to the past to fix all of this. So why do I have to stop him now? Hmm. Questions, questions. Let's get this thing first. I think I have to climb up here. Up these boxes that are precariously and inconspicuously, but yet conveniently, placed for me to climb. I just casually placed my boxes this way. Where am I supposed to go? Here we go. Over here. Well, that's, that's normal. I always stack my boxes that way. I also always fall off of rooftops with no damage. No fall damage whatsoever. That's normal for me, too. Oh, Jesus. Wait, I'm supposed to stop. Here we go. Fusion Eddie is being guarded by tech drones. They are Blaston monsters, so you can use your number two nano. He's an adipotipotite? Adipotime. At Petipium. I'm not even gonna, you know what? Whatever. He's an A-type nano. The computer just emailed you about this before. Cool babes. I'm gonna avoid most of them because I only need to kill three. And not something that I need to worry about too much. He's a C-type, so our B-type should kill him. Stun him. Love you, Buttercup. You're so awesome, girly. I think the only thing it's possible to dodge is that, like, big, huge, like... I can't see him. There he is. Ooh, look at that smile. He looks like a creep. But I think Eddie is, in fact, by definition, a freaking creep. So I don't think it matters. Eddie protects your, your, your boosts and potions from enemy attack. Yeah, no, I don't care. Let's do this. Get ourselves some health back. I have an important assignment for you. Please check your email. See, every time you tell me to do that, there's nothing there. But there actually is something here. Eduardo is more intelligent than he appears. He suggests talking to Samurai Jack about rebuilding the time machine since Jack is one of the only heroes who has who knows how to travel through time. Go talk to Eduardo in the cul-de-sac to find out more. I can do that. And not to mention, I like Samurai Jack, so we can go do that. Samurai Jack, you guys, did you guys watch the second season or like the closing season? I'm so happy they ended that show. I'm not even kidding. I fangirled really hard again because Samurai Jack was one of my favorite shows. Had one of my favorite villains, and is probably one of my favorite shows. Some of my favorite villains. That's that's plural because Demungo was another one, and I do believe there is a Demungo Nano. And when this game came out, I always had the Demungo Nano equipped, just so I could dance with it. Because I do believe he'd always be like, "Go, go, Demungo!" And I just I love Demungo. Nice to see you. I might be a nerd, you guys. Might be just slightly, not a hundred percent. Okay guys, so I ran all the way over here to find Mandark, so we're all the way over here in Genius Grove, and we found Mandark, but I am actually out of time for this episode. So I'm gonna stop here. We got three nanos of, I think there's only four or five that you can get this early on in the game anyway, but it looks like they implemented a crap ton of missions, and I think reading the developer's blog, they did in fact say that they brought in all the missions that the game had phased out at some point. So there's a ton of missions to do. I probably won't record them all. You get the gist of the game, I'm probably gonna play through this, so if you sometimes see sporadic videos of it, then that's probably why, because I am reliving my childhood right now, and it's absolutely amazing. I I am actually having a lot of fun doing this. I'm gonna cut, I cut around a lot because of the fact that, I mean, it's just a long time running, but this game is bringing back so many memories that, of, of just good times that I've had playing this game. So I definitely plan on playing through the entirety of this game, but I'm gonna leave this episode here. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a like. Or don't, that's up to you. But I do hope you guys will come back and join me for more games like Fusion Fall here on the channel. Thanks guys, bye bye.